gentleman, scholar, and all-around motherfucker, please <laughs> welcome Mr. Jack Marywell. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jack. I got in a car accident recently. It's cool though, because I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance <laughs> by fleeing the scene. <laughs> that from time to time in English it becomes trendy to borrow an adverb or an adjective from a foreign language and then use that word for everything? For example, in the early 90s we borrowed the French tre, as in tre radical or tre awesome. Today we have the German uber, as in uber cool, or that's uber tight. I hope the next language we borrow from is Swahili. John, I love your new shoes, they're awesome. <laughs> Baby, I want to you like an animal. <laughs> I don't know, I love language, I love thinking about it and playing with it. And one thing I've noticed recently is that we humans talk shit. And I mean that literally. We will use the language of excrement to refer to anything in the world as long as we're talking about it negatively. For example, if you've got a dumbass look on your face, you've got a shitty grin. If you're stupid, shit for brains. If you're a jerk, you're a shithead or an asshole. <laughs> if something doesn't work, it's a piece of crap. If you don't like an idea, you will poo-poo the idea. And if you're tired, you're just pooped out. And now, my favorite example of this kind of language is actually a combination. Because if you get drunk and start cursing loudly, you are a shit-faced, potty-mouth, pissed-off, talking shit full of crap asshole. <laughs> and you might just be a poo-poo head. <laughs> And what I really find interesting about this behavior is that it's not limited to the human species. It also applies to our cousins, the apes. If you piss off a chimpanzee, he will throw his shit at you. <laughs> He's calling you a shithead by making you literally a shithead. <laughs> and now I realize at first that this seems like a primitive, disgusting ritual among the apes, but I have thought about it a lot, and I really don't believe that it is. I think it's a little bit better than the system we have. Because you piss off a chimp, he throws a shit, and that is the end of confrontation. <laughs> Apes throw shit. Most of the time, humans say shit, and that's fine. But occasionally, we also shoot shit. <laughs> and unlike bullets, ape shit washes out. <laughs> Which is why I'm often led to believe that as a species, we humans are absolutely full of shit. <laughs> The golden rule says, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I followed that rule, and now I'm a rapist. <laughs> Who the hell is clapping for that? You see that guy alone in the parking lot after the show, you turn and you run. <laughs> I recently discovered that back in the 1890s, Coca-Cola used to have cocaine in its formula. Were you guys aware of this? Yeah, Coke used to have cocaine in it. How awesome is that? As a matter of fact, the day I found it out, I went antiquing. If you smoke pot, your IQ will fall. If you smoke pot and then drop acid, you can watch it happen. <laughs> My girlfriend used to work in a shelter for battered women. And let me tell you, she knows domestic violence like the back of my hand. <laughs> Guys, that's my comment, Jack. Very well.